we've got a lot of boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that one's a heavy one. Six boxes and, and a couple cards. Oh, I got a half a pen. Oops, you got that, Patty. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so we're, we're just going to go ahead and get started. And I think we'll pick a, hef a heavy one first. And all these, I think, are from Amazon. Except this one. Except Tom down here. Er, yep, I see his name on there. So we're going to start with these. And I do have one that if we... Uh, Bill, so if we find one in here from Baba... Uh, we're going to hold it because he's got two boxes coming, and um, they would like us to hold it till we get both of them. So hopefully there's cards in there to let us know. I thought this might be this because it's the perfect size for the seafood variety, and I think that this one is from uh, Gossamer. Pretty sure I got a note from Goss that she sent a box of 32 frisky seafood, and that's what this is. So thanks, Goss. I think the cat's like one of these the best. Yep, it is. We got the card with it, and it does have your name on it. So thank you, Goss. And thank you also for um, doing the videos for everybody. I know that's been a real big hit, and it's nice so people don't have to wait up because... Sometimes our time schedule is different. Um, you know what? We've got to move you up. Sorry about that, Patty. I'm going to move these over. Because I'm just a little short and that's too high. So this one is from Amazon. And it's, it's, uh, it's a fat box because it's spread apart here. So it must have something big not real heavy like I don't think it's food. Ooh. And we got a card. That's cool. Oh, this is from Kathy. Kathy B. And it says to Jackie and the volunteers, thanks for all you do and providing loving homes for the wonderful kitty. And oh. this is work. And it's one of the, the whisker packets, and which one is it? It's the fish one. So we use this a lot. I use these at breakfasts. Thank you, Kathy B. You kept us well stocked this week. I appreciate that very, very, very much, Kathy. Oh, look, Patty says, oh, yeah, that's the perfectly fish. That's one of them that Patty likes a whole bunch. You'll get some, I promise. You'll get some for breakfast. You know, um, one of the volunteers asked me today, she was in the, the front room there when uh, the boxes came, and, and uh, she, she made the comment, wow, you know, what a lot of boxes, and, and she said, what did you get yesterday, and I told her, you know, quite a bit of food, and, which is awesome, and she asked me how much that we're having to buy, and I and I told him told her that between what you guys send in dry food and the canned food, only twice in the last year have we had to go get a large amount of canned food. And then with what I'ms and you guys help provide, um, I have not bought. I don't think I've bought any dry food in the last year. So that that is really really cool. All that is money saved for, for us to be able to do some of the other things we have to do. And this, oh, this is from Bubba, so I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. We have to save this one for tomorrow. I think the second box of this comes tomorrow, so I didn't see anything. Phew, that was a close one. This one... You know, this is really interesting because whenever Quayside, that's Elaine and Willis sends us something from Amazon, it's always on the outside. So I, it's nice that somehow they got that figured out to do that. 
and and it's also a different Amazon paper as well. Go go go, babe. So this one is from um <laughs> from uh, Quayside from Elaine and Willis, and it says uh, hi Jackie and all and all happy Halloween, happy Halloween. So oh no wonder. I thought it was hot food. Look at this. Boy, this one is packed with Reese's peanut butter cups, Reese's pieces, and then the almond. Um, almond joys. Uh, that's what, uh, um, which one likes that? Greg likes those. Whoa. And another one of these. And then, and this one has Reese's peanut butter cups whoppers, which some of the volunteers like those almond and cheese. And another one. Thank you, Quayside. Thank you, thank you. I think I've mentioned to you guys before how we get this candy and we put it on the table, we mix it all up, and then we put it in the base big enough to fill our candy jar. And <laughs> we go through a lot of candy. It's amazing to me. It helps keep our energy level up, you know. So we'll put this in, in the other room. We keep that over on the other side. That's a gold mine. A sweet gold mine. Happy Halloween. And this one is also from Elaine and Will. Are you guys love at night? <laughs> one was trying to go one way and one was trying to go the other way, and obviously that does not work. You guys, be careful. Ah. No cut. Oh, this is great. This is great. This, this is cool. Oh, yeah. This is from also Quayside, and oh, this is this is wonderful. This is the appetizers. I so much appreciate this. I know that these are not cheap. And I know we wouldn't have to have them, but I'm telling you, the oldsters love these, and the kitties are eating good. This is the stuff that got um, Weasley starting to eat real good by himself. And also CJ, this is the stuff that helped put her, her weight on her. And we, we use these carefully. We just don't use them a whole bunch at one time. Oh, and I think I, think I had gotten a message that um, that it was okay for Octavia to see some of these. So we will make sure that Octavia gets to um, have a few of these too. So e Elaine, thank you so much. Thank you. So we've got we've got six cases of these. Are they there? Weasley's Weasley. Weasley's crying at the door, so he must know that his favorite food is here. I'm gonna I'll take uh, I'll keep one of these out and put in the hmm? who did my mom did will you call her back real quick and see if she's okay and if not i'll i'll come right in and call her will you let me know and this is also for bella and her friends get well soon bella so thank you thank you so much willis and and elaine appreciate that that very 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 much Wow, that was a big Halloween fun thing, wasn't it, guys? That was a big one. Okay, is that the is that the box again? Okay, you guys to watch out, little. This is from another webcam friend, um, Tom. Tom P. I'm going to cut that out just in case if I have a reminder. Isn't it terrible? I gotta have reminders on everything. I've never cut myself yet. Oh, Jamie. She better have a good reason for parking. Ooh, this looks rather interesting. Hang on a minute. Let me check and see if that's my mom. It is. Um, just a minute, everybody. This is from Tom P. And he's the one that's, uh, his cam name is XYR2U. And it says, Buddy and Ashley, that's his cat, I 
I believe, have not used this since I got it. They would rather be in bed with me. Since I have a small place that is just taking up space, I know you will be able to use it. Best wishes to all the kitties. So something looks it's fallen out of the box. And some treaties, which we know the kitties love these treaties. Thank you, Tom, for the treat. Wow, what is this? And how on earth did you get this in this box? You must have stomped on it, huh? Oh, my gosh. How did you get that in that box? Holy macro. You're, oh, look at it. It's got little paw printies all over it. That is, oh, Tom, they'll love this. You know who's going to, you know who some of them are that's going to want to be in this is Bella and Emmeline, I will bet you. And I wonder if we could show Putter if he would like it, too. Thanks, Tom. This is really cool. I can't believe you got that in that box, though. Thank you. I can't believe your kitties didn't like it. These kitties will love it. We'll put it out tonight for, for playground tonight. Cool. Okay, here, you guys want to practice already? Here you go. And this is the card. We got one card here, supposed to open. This is for Queen Bella. I'm telling you, that girl is one spoiled, one spoiled girl. I'll do this while Racer's not looking. I should have scissors over here. Too far away. Oh, let me first see who this is from. Oh, this is from M MK Mouse. So you got to see this picture. So this is for Queen Bella. And check out this picture. You read that? It says Queen Bella with Bella's picture. I don't know how some of you guys are so creative. How do you do that? So it says Queen Bella. She's looking pretty proud of herself there. It says, <laughs> no wonder Bella's got a big head. It says Her Royal Highness. Oh, and inside here it has two pictures of um, MK's uh, kitties. One is Pumpkin, who's seven, and Oliver is a gray and white with an awesome white nose. Is 13 so pumpkin and Oliver it says we are sending you well wishes because we were informed by our mom that, <laughs> that you have a boo-boo bum <laughs> we also hear you are recovering gracefully and you are multitasking during your recovery as a royal nanny to the three wee ones we suggest you give that whiny Weasley a booger flavored jelly bean that should make him quiet for a while <laughs> anyway, we hope to see you scooting by soon. Your humble followers, Oliver, Pumpkin, and our mom, Donna, MK Mouse. P.S. Send Oliver, send Octavia for snacks. We hear she's good at thieving like Robin Hood. Oh, that is too cute. Oh, and then on the back it says, uh, Jackie, thanks for all you do with these kitties. Thanks for sharing this special place with the world. That's cool. You put that right there on the back. Thank you, MK Mouse. This is this is cool. We will definitely put this on the wall. Oh, look, we got two kitties on there already. We'll put this on Bella's Bella's Hall of Bella's Hall of Fame, I guess we could call it. There, going up. I've never seen a kitty get so many many uh, cards as what Bella has, and I I love it. I think it's funny. Okay, Jelly Bean, give me that back. Cyrilla that's on the on the bed there Tom um, I had just a couple things to go over uh, Calico 17 uh, sent some money for a calendar and just wanted to tell you thank you for a very very nice card and um, I've got that ready and it'll go out in tomorrow's mail and then uh, a fella I think his name is Ralph called last or called on the phone. I had to remember if it was email or call. He called and was concerned because he was just giving us a heads up because he kept seeing um, one of the kitties going in and out of the cabinets and he was concerned that if we should shut it that the kitty wouldn't get out. 
but I just wanted to let Ralph and everyone know there's no locks on these. Um, they, they're free swing, so there's no, there's no latches or anything that, that um, makes the door stay shut. So they go in and out of there freely. There's no way that they can get stuck in there. Um, but thank you very much for, for your worry. I appreciate that. Uh, and Frank, I wanted to give a very special thank you. Um, he donated some money through PayPal and sent a really nice message, and I, I really appreciated that. Kelly R., we got your fruit, you know, yesterday. We opened that up, and uh, Judy S. and I shared a pair because they're, like, this big. And, uh, oh, my word, those are the best, best pairs. They were really good. you got to get one yet. They were really good. Weasley is eating really good today. I think this morning we supplemented them twice, but I don't think we need to do that anymore. The little piggy has been going from plate, the last two feedings, he's been going um, from plate to plate to plate, so the little boy has figured it out. The, he's filling up his tummy. And we got some good news, not cat-related, but chicken-related. Remember the three chickens that Connie D had so much trouble with? Well, they've been back out on the farm ground in a pen because if we leave them out, they will be back up here. And <clears throat> we didn't want them in the sun porch anymore because they were potty in. Um, but we've got a really good home for them. Yeehaw! And they will be going to their new home tomorrow morning. So I'm thrilled. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy that they, they're going to go to a good home. Kurt's been really busy today. He's been in Kitty City the entire day working on um, the shelves for the cats that will be in Kitty City. There, it's going to be a really nice um, network of shelves in there for the cats to go from one place to the next and then into the middle of the room and around. It's going to be really nice. So um, he's got, there's a lot to do in there because it's a fairly nice size building. Nothing as big as what Cat's Cove is. But remember, we're starting from scratch <clears throat> on the catwalks out there. So we'll get it done before we have to get the cats up from the cold. Uh, Bella's been out and someone had asked, I uh, got that on one of these, how she did last night. She did really good during the night. Uh, she's been out all day. I've checked her incision twice this morning and once this afternoon. And her, her stump incision looks really good. It's not red. Um, <clears throat> I think that Dr. P was successful in pulling it underneath that, the majority of where the pressure is. So hopefully that that will, will remain staying good. But she's happy as a lark. And I was so thrilled this morning. The yellow table back there is where Bella always eats her breakfast. And she was back up there. Oh, and she's in her second best place right now in the Kitty Campus or in Cat's Corner Room. We have a big yellow spiral step, um, toad, like a pole that goes up. And she goes post to post to post. Yeah, it's, it's very similar to the one right behind me. And uh, she gets up there, and then on top of the red box is her one of her favorite beds, and she's up there on that right now. So she's doing really, really well. I think she's forgotten about her kitty. Uh, Putter's tail is doing real good. It's healing well. It still looks funny. You might notice it still looks weird, but that's because we trimmed it a lot. The hair, whenever you have a, a wound like that, you have to get the hair off of that so that it lets the <clears throat> That's the air in, and it keeps the hair out of the out of the wound. Octavia, I think Octavia has lost her head in there somewhere. She was upside down almost. Our um, our floor is done. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy it's done. And I have to tell you, the first kitty out there, we were betting this afternoon of who it would be. We all guessed it was going to be Octavia. But it was little Donna. I was standing there with, of course, the door open. I'm bad about that. And I was talking to Bruce, the guy who did the floor, and out goes Donna, just like she owned the place out there. So little baby Donna was the first one that went out. I had some questions from you folks. Uh, Carolina Ash, Ash had asked about Bella's first night out. And like I said, she just did awesome. Cat Lady asked, um, Oh, how I take a vacation? I rarely do that. Um, in years past, I've gone out to Kate in Arizona every other year for like three or four days, but 
it takes so much preparation and I hate to go gosh I just hate to go this year I can't I'm, I'm not going out uh, with things going on with my mom and dad I, I'm just not I'm not leaving I can't go that long uh, Annie asked if Amara and Adora both have the squirrely tails <laughs> yes they both have the squirrely tails and you give them a couple weeks here on this better food and these little poof poof tails will be even poofier yet right and let me see which one's the next one. Um, me Meow asked if we had plans for the 5,000. Well, first we got to win the 5,000. That's from the animal rescue site. Oh, you guys are doing super, super on voting for us. I'm just so grateful. I'm so honored that you guys have voted for us and got us in first place. We've been there for three weeks, I think. And do you know what the cutoff date is, Kurt? Uh, December 18th. I was thinking it was like December 7th. So we've got four, five, six, six and a half weeks. We got to keep on going. So um, keep voting. Um, we I do have plans for that five thousand dollars if we get it. Uh, I want to do this floor also. Uh, the floor in here. I know it's not a necessity. I do know that the floor is chipping uh, more and more every day. I was telling someone a couple of days ago. One of the cats was running towards me, one of the kitties, and in its mouth was a fleck of the floor about this big. And it, it just, I don't think it, I don't think they eat it, but it bothers me, it worries me, it worries me that um, they might try to eat it. But it's flaking up. I just even walking across the floor scuffed up more of the chips. Um, so I think if we were able to win that $5,000, that would go towards this floor. And I talked to Bruce today, and he can order the same stone as what we've got there in the office in the new three rooms. It would be identical. And he would do all three of the rescue rooms, the dog's room, and all of this all in one time. It would take about a week. So I'm hoping. That's what I would love to have that go for. That $5,000 that we just got from... Uh, our calendar sales, which is one of our biggest fundraisers that we do other than the Catathon, that went 100% uh, for our medical bills. Between what we owe Dr. Pettigrew, um, the other companies were like Marielle and Butler, uh, oh, where we get our IDEX, where we get our um, testing equipment from, the antibiotics, it went for all of that. The, the, those bills were escalating, but I knew you know, when they were climbing that, once we got that money for the calendar money, I'd be able to get most of that paid off, So, which we did. That's, we used it 100% for that. So thanks for buying all those calendars, because that helped us with that. Uh, little, little One Mine asked how Steve Nee is doing. We're still waiting for Workman's Comp. I did call him today, haven't got an answer back. They should call Monday, and Monday is the 10th day, which is their max for a stat case. So hopefully we'll hear something on Monday. Um, Marsha Q asked about Halloween treats for the kitties. I think I'm going to be giving them chicken on Halloween day, which is, what is that actually on to Monday? Monday. So they'll get a special treat on that. Um, MK Mouse asked about adoption. October is by far our slowest, mo slowest month of um, for adoptions in the whole year. Always has been, probably always will. It just is the way it is. So I'm thankful for every adoption that we can get for October. November picks up a little bit, but December, January, February, even March, they really escalate up. So we'll be okay. Nika Ross, or Nika Ross asked about Raza, why she likes to eat alone. For breakfast time, when she was first out of her room, when she had all those kitties, she was a little sass head out here. I mean, she would come down and just whack, 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 and grumble and growl. So I had just started putting her in pen six, and then as her kitties got bigger, uh, she settled down and you know wasn't nearly so rambunctious about being right there in everybody's face. And now every morning, she almost always, this is over closer to the wall, She's almost always right here waiting, and as soon as I tell her to go to her place, she goes over and jumps in, and I just shut the door. As soon as she's done eating, she comes right back out. So it's, it's just a habit with her. She likes it. She eats real good, so we just keep it up. Um, 
any act at the floor was on schedule, it is because it's done. And so while we're on the floor, he had said that we could probably even move things back in tonight. But we're, I don't want to do that yet. To me, I want to leave it set for a little longer. So tomorrow afternoon, we're going to move everything back and we'll get back to some normalcy around here. Uh, we've got some, um, we've got to get some new wheels for all of our condos so that it doesn't hurt the floor. <clears throat> Although he says it won't, but we want to put new ones on so that we don't leave those black streaks that we do sometimes. And on all of the pieces of furniture that goes in that room, they're going to also get the new little, um, oh, little, uh, rubber bottom things that we put on there so that it'll glide right by. Uh, Jack had asked if we could see the floor. Maybe we're, when we're done with this, we can turn the camera right there in the door and let you see it. Watch other cams. Oh, Cat Lady asked if I watch other cams. I'm lucky to watch this cam. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think it would be kind of fun to sit down and kind of bust through some of the other cams, but I really do think that'd be fun, but... I'm just thrilled when I get to sit down and chit chat with you guys and I just I love doing it. I just wish I had more time to do that. So I I I don't not do it because I don't want to it's just because of my time. And Fuzzy asked if we got her card because she was off cam. Um and just as a reminder, this was Fuzzy's card last week with her cat Noodle, Doodle and signed by Fuzzy. And this was another one that's for Bella, which is sticky because we got the tape on it been hanging up there on Bella's wall. So thank you, Fuzzy, for sending that to Bella. Um, Bubba asked how Weasley's doing. Well, like I said, Weasley's doing. And Lilybug also asked about Weasley. He's doing awesome. He's still a whiner. I think he's probably going to grow up to be an adult whiner. But that's okay. Um, Joe asked about an estimate for the floor for all of this it's a little hot well actually I guess I should start it off this way we were laying bets in here before we got the estimate to kind of guess what it would be uh, a couple of volunteers was guessing 20,000 which I knew that was too high but we got it today it's 9,600 I think I told you 97 96 um, but you know this floor that we put in here just in this section that we want to do um, was I think like three or four thousand by the time we were done with it and as you can see in two years it's it's chipping up all over the place it's not uh, the person who put it in did it exactly like what it, that we were told but the way that they do that quartz floor is entirely different and that floor will last us forever and so if we can do this when we can do this uh, it'll be a it'll be a darn good floor. It'll stand up to all the all the watering that or all the mopping that we do. The I think we're hard on everything, but he says what we do here is nothing like what a factory would do, and they put that same floor in factories. So this is this is a floor that will last us our whole duration of of being here, which is dozens and dozens of years yet. So um, slowly but surely we'll get it and. We'll, we'll get to do it. I, I just think it's something we need to do. Uh, and as the floor gets worse in some of these places, we'll just uh, throw some... I, we Actually, I started doing it uh, one day last week, and then we stopped doing it. You need to throw rugs over those really bad places to keep the cats from picking at it. But we can do that. We can work with it. And like I had said, if we get that 5000 that's what we're going to put that big chunk towards that. Um... And Susan asked what a normal day is. God only knows because I have no idea what a normal <laughs> day is. I said something the other day. I'll be glad when all this is put back together so we have some sense of normalcy. But that doesn't mean a normal thing because I don't think anything normal happens here. We're always, it's always crazy. Uh, I think I answered all of that. I just have a couple more. Little Frank asked how Kellen is doing and... Uh, the new com new pewter, the new computer. Kellen is, she is doing awesome on this. Um, Karen's still trying to get some of those apps uh, to help with the, the social behavior problems that we're also having with Kellen. But Kellen loves this computer. And it's going to be a big key, I think, in helping her deal with some of the emotional things that 
she has trouble with. So I, I'm just tickled to death with it. My mom, and also how my mom is doing, my mom and dad is doing. Um, Dad's just has had a couple of rough days here, uh, but my my big thing is is my mom fell day before yesterday. Was that day before yesterday? She was in the garage, went to go up in the kitchen, which is just two steps, and bam, she went down and really uh, tore her legs up. Her skin is so thin, and it just lifted the skin up. So I've got to go out tomorrow morning. I've got some things that'll help. Um, Help her wounds not stick to the dressing. So, but they're 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 hanging in there. Sox fan asked who that huge gold cat is. That is my sister's two cats are here. Miranda, which I just saw her down. Miranda looks a lot like this kitty, um, but she's a little bit bigger. She's still pretty petite. She stays in this area, but the gold kitty is uh, is Goldie. And she's a huge cat. She's got a little white spot on her side, just one little tiny white spot. But I, I also got an uh, email, I think it was last night, or early this morning, that uh, Goldie, the big gold one, was out here for a few hours just crying and crying. And went, so I came out right away, and she was way over on the other side, which is very unusual for Goldie because her safety zone is back here in Kitty Campus Room. So I just carried her back there. I don't know if all the commotion of the playground here scared her or she couldn't comfortably get back to her area or not, but she'll be okay. They go home a uh, week from Saturday, so she's got a little bit of a stay yet. And yes, I do have Iowa marked on, on our map. So I, I, what I need to do is probably make a list of the states that we don't have marked yet. And then you guys can tell me if somebody represents them and then I can get them all marked. Thank you, everybody. I so much appreciate all the gifts. I think the cats are going to love this uh, bed here that Tom sent. And um, we'll get things. Oh, Kurt, is there any way we can flip the cam around to show them the floor? Here you go, Jack Cat. This is for you and everybody else. I know what you mean when you say you're getting busy. Can I see how shiny that is? You can't really tell the color on that from there at all. The room is completely empty. Oh my gosh, it looks so bare naked. It's very, very shiny. It's got um, actually four layers of epoxy on it, two layers of quartz. And it still looks wet, doesn't it? But it is not. It's a very hard surface. Board. There you go. So thanks everybody for joining us tonight. We'll get things ready and uh, I'll be back out later tonight to check Ow. on everybody and to do one more thing. <laughs> That's um, uh, Kurt getting mauled by one of the babies. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, kitty, and you're not even sorry, are you? Huh? No, you're not even sorry. I'm bleeding. <laughs> okay, we need all this. We need this to put away.